Hello, everybody. Welcome on into the Halloween Marathon 2024 Super Castlevania 4 race. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. We got ourselves a three-way three -way race. That is not very easy to say three times in a row, I can promise you. <laughs> uh, between myself, Christmas, and Cyphron. Uh, welcome on in, Christmas and Cyphron. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Doing swell. Ready to play some CB4 on this Halloween spooky weekend. Yep, ready to share that CB4 love that we all have. You know, you got to spread it to the masses. Absolutely, yeah. this is a great game for Halloween. Um, I think that we're all pretty much good to go. Uh, Cyphern, you want to go up onto the name screen? Oh, I have an ad, so I can't see it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, this is going to be kind of a, I would say, a chill race we're doing two races back to back since it was going to be a knockout tournament but we had some drops last minute so we're going to keep this to two races between all three of us and it should be a nice fun good time with yeah, Simon we're Belmont. Keep, yeah good old fashioned any percent runs uh hopefully we're going to be the game is nice to us the game can be a little bit uh a little bit evil at times so you know praises praise to the the rng gods uh that uh that Vegas pays out tonight. Yep, yes, yep. and we all play very skillfully. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, I'll go ahead and I'll do a countdown from five, and we're going to go ahead and get started. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. So stage one here is the stables. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of damage boosting because it allows us to go faster. Simon has a tendency to power strut, but that's not very fast. So we're going to be using health as fuel. I'm sure everyone is very familiar with uh, the concept of it. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of making sure that we get hit in the right direction. Backwards, bad. Forwards, good. Depends. <laughs> yeah, it depends. <laughs> You don't want to become a pinball. <laughs> I mean, you can boost forward into a pit, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's actually very true. <laughs> We're going to be doing our best here to jump uh, when we can to avoid walking off ledges, as that can take a little bit of time. Simon so mean, falls slower. But if we jump from too high, we get clunk frames. So we're going to do our best to try to stay away from these clunk frames by either jumping out of them or jumping from specific heights just high enough. Uh, Simon also has three different jump heights depending on how long you hold the button for. One, two, and three frames. Uh, so if we can find a right height where... Freaking... Nope, did not get the one-two clip. Dang. But you didn't die. Yeah, you didn't die. Uh, you got it. I'm the only one who didn't go for it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was a little delayed, though. Yeah, th I mean, this this is a, a difficult strat to do. I, I I do it in RTA, but I don't do it in races because it's you, if you do it wrong, you're dead, and it's not worth it for me personally. And but I uh, it is a cool looking strat, so also worth going for. <laughs> yeah, it takes about two and a half seconds for us to skip the stairs with that clip. Uh, but if you pop out early, you fall to your death. If you pop out late, it's not the end of the world, which is why when yeah. I try to go for the frame window, I try to mm -hmm. lean towards the late side. Worst case scenario, yeah. you know, you get the last one or two frames uh, and you just kind of pop out. But uh, at least, well, as long as we're all alive and no one yeah, got stairs off matters. right off the bat. Yeah, I'm There's saving, plenty of I'm game left. <laughs> yeah, plenty of game. I'm saving my deaths for stage three and stage eight oh, and stage nine and stage A. <laughs> a couple of times in B, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Or I can die on the stairs, as Chris said. You can pop four and fall into a pit. <laughs> did you? Did no. you die? Yeah, I died by the the salad. The, the no. <laughs> I was hoping I wasn't gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, there's plenty of game left. <laughs> Technically, we start on the left side of the screen, so that is a boost backward. I have my, my statement stands. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. I suppose you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the goal of this game is to keep your multiplier and your crosses for the whole time. That's ideal. Of course, that doesn't always happen. Yeah. Uh, when you wanted to, so yeah, in any death, uh, you're gonna have to find your nearest cross and then build up your multiplayer again. Yeah, big time loss if that's the uh, the case. 
Oh, speaking it depends. of that, where, so where is the cross on stage uh, two here? I don't remember. Two, uh, so you're gonna you're gonna find it um, on the second screen. It's kind of where that armadillo is. Oh yeah, with the meat. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just after the frog. Um, so yeah, some, some deaths are worse than others in this game. Some, you, you can find a cross pretty much immediately, but there are definitely deaths in this game. Oh, what was I doing there? <laughs> but there's some deaths in this game that, uh, it will cost you a lot because it takes a while to find a cross and then build up a multiplier again. And you also have to know all of the backup strats to efficiently build that up. So it's not it's not like you're going to be coming into the level with a triple cross. So you got to figure out a way to maneuver that in, entire situation while properly building up the cross and not accidentally uh, picking up sub weapon items. So the yeah. uh, for those who don't know, the candles here are all generally mapped out. Um, so we know what we're going to be getting when it comes down to uh, when we kill a candle. Uh, but if we're trying to build multiplier by doing combos on candles and enemies, and we're kind of out of rhythm because we don't have everything entirely mapped out for whatever reason, such as restarting the stage because we made a mistake, we will accidentally pick up a sub weapon and basically screw ourselves over. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Almost forgot to take the potion. Yeah, big thing in this game is heart routing and health routing too. Um, depending on how optimal you want to take your stages, your health route can be pretty tight. Um, so yep. you can't really afford extra boosts. And if you take boosts where you don't want to, you have to kind of figure out an alternate way to deal with getting around some other enemies. Alrighty, stage, stage three. three. This, yeah, this is the the, the make or break. Uh, lots of health management uh, and lots of potential boosts. Some cool stuff that we might be able to show you, but we'll see. It all comes down to the waterfall. The caves here. Uh, some stuff does some extra damage. We're gonna do our best to try to reduce lag uh, and make sure that we don't walk off too many ledges. Uh, and make sure that we have the right amount of health for us to go into the waterfalls because it's going to start really affecting uh, our overall speed on this stage. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a very long stage, so that's why it winds up being like one of the harder stages. It's also like the first one where you have some more technical tricks. Um, so yeah, it, it's just a long stage, and it can be it can be bad uh, where you die. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Would you both say this is like one of the stages that most CD4 runners practice like most? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And the it less so like, like it becomes very rhythmic. Mm -hmm. I say as I make three attempts on the ringlet. Uh, it becomes very uh, rhythmic. Like once you get the hang of the waterfalls and uh, but getting that rhythm initially and trying to understand stand the way the level actually plays out and what you need to do like how specific your inputs need to be in order to smoothly go through the level with the camera manipulation you do a lot of studying here as a as a beginner runner learning the patterns uh later on it becomes more of just kind of like you know what's going to happen you know where things are uh you know what manipulations whether you do or don't get it so i feel like in the beginning absolutely but later oh no i've missed my ball boost uh yeah, so uh, you eventually get it, but uh, like I feel like later on you you focus more on the back half of the game, uh, like quick ascent and stuff like that. Then uh, I spend more time on practicing one cycle, than. Uh, um, and I guess ball. that's all dependent because I feel like I practice one cycle the least out of everything in the game. I th I still I always practice stage three, um, even if I'm very comfy with it. Uh, I practice stage three a lot. I think it's just easy to kind of um, lose a lot of time on this stage, so it's really important to stay in shape with it. Mm -hmm. Very true. 
But yeah, it's very dependent because like some people like really practice certain sections more than others. I guess everyone's got a favorite stage, right? Mm. Oh yeah, what is my favorite stage? That is a good question. Um, I'm thinking maybe A. I guess. I, I like stage nine. Like it's it's pretty and like yeah, it lures you into a false sense of security with happy music and bright colors. But like the way that the length of it is, the way that it flows, and I just enjoy it. And the little climb at the end, I don't know, nine is a little cool. bit of everything. I might have to go with A as well. Bloody tears. Um. Hard. Yeah. I am forgetting to split here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I have no splits, so it's been comfy. <laughs> yeah, no splits for me either. <laughs> I'm actually going to get this wall meat of shame, or candle meat of shame before the viper. <laughs> oh, the one on the right oh, before yeah. the before Richards? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. It's right there. It's not so shameful. <laughs> All right. Hello, Puexel. Bye, Puexel. Licks you up. So, yeah, I'm Alrighty. doing a bend in the air strat here. I'm kind of staying above the ring to. Kill the Medusas. Um, I will actually call this swag officially because <laughs> you do lose time doing this by very marginally, like one or two frames or something like that. Uh, but uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm doing the other one, which makes people really, really confused, where I stay perfectly still and crouched because the height of the Medusa is based on Simon's head and it's a sine wave pattern. So if you stay perfectly still and crouched, they're just all going to miss you, as you can clearly see here. So whoever died in this room frustrated, jumping around, throwing sub-weapons, whipping in every single direction, that is the solution. <laughs> and it's faster. <laughs> it is. It's the fastest way to do it thus far. I mean, with the flag being the amount of Medusas that have spawned, or a timer, I'm not entirely sure. I wouldn't know how else to make that room go faster, other than just to make sure it doesn't go slower. Good strat. <laughs> 10 out of 10 speedrun strat. <laughs> IGN approved. I didn't know the ring glitch method was slower. I always thought it was faster just because it helps you get on to that uh, bridge that's materializing at the end. That, that overhead swing onto the little platforms that form oh i'm not paying attention <laughs> okay i'm gonna wait safely at the end here i got the zip so but i'm gonna play safe with the crushers oh nice gg on the zip thank nice. you nice you guys will go for it let's see here in the wall too early pop out damn ah now did, <laughs> which which zip did you did you both go for uh, uh the richter, richter. Uh, richter. I don't, okay. yeah I got in the wall, but I turned around too early. I got I got a little scared of the the, the old crushed in the wall syndrome. Bad corona, bad corona. Ah, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, I got fast warp though. <laughs> oh, you got fast warp. That makes up for any type of a corona. Nice. I'm sweet. <laughs> I'm low on health, I gotta be careful. Oh, oh no! I oh, whipped no. early up on the Coronaut and it caused the, uh, the check, the oh, check. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I recovered it, we're okay, we're okay. Uh, so for those uh, who aren't aware of the way the crosses work, they check for collision every other frame, and if you have multiple crosses or multiple sub-weapons on the target at the same time, generally it's crosses, uh, it checks for all three at the damage, but the width can be checked separately. So if it checks for the width first, you lose all of that cross overlap damage because it checks the collision. Oh, I'll be right off the bat, but it's okay. I got it. Um, 
you lose that collision, that, that bonus triple damage that the cross is providing because it checks the whip first. Oof, what is this? Right, I conked my head. I can go through the zip on my side. Select. Oh, you can't go for it. Oh, no, I, yeah, yeah, I cannot. Oh, okay. No. Nice. I mean, we, we, we all went for it. One partially got it. One got it completely. But you, those are the three examples of, uh, of <laughs> the scenarios <laughs> beyond death. Oh, low hanging heart. Oh, what? He vertical jumped. Yo, someone check the vertical leap on that flea. <laughs> ow. Oh, ow. All right, stage five over. Well, Castlevania one begins, stage six. Yep, stage five, we, well, at least for me, it's a relaxation stage until you get into six where things really amp up. Except the harpies yep. on stage five, uh, as you all probably seen on the other screens, can be absolute jerks. They're being kind to me yeah. right now. They are uh, RNG entirely, so. It, you, you you just kind of hope and throw your your crosses where you think they might spawn. Pray for the rest. I just purposely went for a two cycle. I was like, frick it. <laughs> <laughs> Got better safe. Yep. Ooh, that felt weird. I wasn't gonna. That make was. That. Oh my god, that was bad. I'm gonna have to go for a three cycle because uh, danger zone. <laughs> danger zone. <laughs> uh, let's sing just enough to not get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Boost off the bass. That. Oh shoot. <laughs> Simon having a, a moment there with the stairs. Spook me. Just only slightly. Ectoplasms. We uh, we actually kill those ectoplasms as fast as possible because they cause lag like no tomorrow. Yeah, they cause lag and they don't leave the screen. Like, there's, like some enemies in this game will just disappear the farther you go from them, but not those. Oh, oh my god. Alright, yeah. chandelier time for me. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Bad Hellway. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's picky stage six right now for me. Uh, two cycle. If this is the Hello. platform at the end. That's good, though. We got the audio timing, and that's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking any... Tail boost here. I don't want to know it. Okay. The heck? The moth temple by just Play. a little. Okay, we're back. I was off temple for Hellway for a second. Spooky. Yeah, I, was, I had a bad Hellway too. <laughs> Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Excellent. Got coffin boost. E nice. That's still one of the hardest tricks for me in those boosts. Yeah, I feel um. Oh my. Okay. This it just is... feels really inconsistent for me. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to get mm. coffin boost consistent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dancer, hold me closer. All right, oh, there we go. Stage seven. stage seven. It's doing its thing. Stage seven. It's doing its thing. It's doing, doing its oh, thing. Oh, stop, no. stop doing his thing. Stop it. <laughs> so, like, with stage seven, it's not a particularly like 
I, I don't think Steven's a hard stage, but it's very easy to go off script very quickly. Yeah. Uh, and then it's pretty detrimental after that, because... Oh, I mean, especially optimally, if you're doing the stage optimally, you're not taking that meat that I just took there. So, yeah, it's it's a hard stage. And that's stage 7 for me is all about clipping. It's all about making sure you don't put what I'm, I'm in the hole. Oh, I fell too. No. <laughs> I so, fell. It's a perfect example of what I was about to mention. There's <laughs> yeah. a lot of objects moving across the screen. Axes, ghosts, enemies, candles that are kind of sitting in your way. And as I mentioned previously, the game checks collision every other frame. Uh, I did it which again. Means... Oh, okay. Well, all right. Interesting. Well, that's weird. Which means if you don't kill everything, you can easily get boosted in the wrong direction. Thankfully, right, stage well, 7 is a kind place to die on. It's relatively kind. I'm not going to go back for the uh, the, the cross. Um, it's going to probably bite me in the, in the ass, but I don't really care. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, in my sense, once I died on book jump twice, by the way... Um, oh no! I should technically die and go all the way back to the beginning, which you can do, um, but I won't. I'm just not gonna do it. Because <laughs> uh, your next cross is not gonna be until uh, second screen and eight. Yeah. So it's a bit of ways away, and that's it's okay. That's not good. That was close. That was far. Okay, here oh we are. My. Okay, everything. Well, I knew it was gonna go there. south at some point for me. <laughs> it, was, it was everything was going too good for it to be true. <laughs> Oh, okay, getting recovery meat in seven. Look at the centipede, everyone. Say hi to the centipede. All right, say bye to the centipede. Bye, centipede. Bye, centipede. This is the only time that we're going to be enjoying your presence and we have nothing to do with you. Bye, centipede. Thankfully, I was able to get the book jump. Nice! Yeah, I got my book jump, too. Come on, Zrakul, please. Oh, my God, he's going to kill me. No, okay. not that cool. Where is it? There. Okay. All right. Crosses, whips, two phases for Grakul. We want to shatter that weapon ASAP. But now, hopefully, he doesn't block us. All right. Excellent. Ooh, man. CG. We're here. Oh, stage what? hate. Oh where, my where... god. Wait, what, what, where were you? I'm just, I'm just trying to remember how to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we just we forgot completely. We've only been doing this for years. <laughs> True. So yeah, this first screen's a, a doozy to get past. I think once you get past the screen, Sage's really not all that bad. I, I I don't particularly think it's that bad overall, but it's it's hard. Like I said, if it goes off script, it's the same type of thing. <laughs> it can mm -hmm. be. Yeah, for casual nightmare, absolute nightmare. For oh, us, casual, it, yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, this even is the hardest. yeah, even for us, yeah, going off the script and then just wreck our lives. Yep. Vegas likes your comment though, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely going for it. Oh yes, I am. I don't care. <laughs> um. Oh no, we're not doing that. I messed up the eye boost in the first room. Oh. oh we're okay. No, we're, 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 yeah, I got. Yeah, I got through. We're still. We're still good. Yeah, because that can turn into a pinball situation like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. uh, so Vegas, uh, coming up to it now for myself, basically is uh, a random chance at a stairs break boost into a disappearing bridge, and it's RNG, so fingers crossed. 
that everything Got goes it. well. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. All right, Vegas. Go. No. no. <laughs> well, what happened? No, you, 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 what? No, it didn't go well. <laughs> Vegas, Vegas got me. Vegas did Vegas things. Yep. So now I gotta do Vegas backup strats. Oh, I see it. Oh. oh. Hello, Vegas, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vegas! Got it. Nice. Hey. I'm about to Second time's the charm. Oh, oh, no. I'm about to get killed by the spikes. Dropping spikes. I got to crawl. I uh, ruined my rhythm. I'm still going oh, for Vegas, though. Oh, the spikes. Yeah, the ceiling oh. spikes almost got me. And I got an eyeball chasing me. Oh, I ruined the... Okay, I can't go for Vegas because I ruined the boost off the stairs. It's okay. It's okay. Just be careful because you're, oh boy, you might upset the rhythm of Vegas. <laughs> we, we got through. <laughs> it was ugly, ugly it's Vegas. Alive. Jump, that's okay. Getting off the stairs, Simon. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, and if you all don't know, stairs is a boss in this game for us. Like, stairs will definitely get you killed. Yeah, I've played other Castlevania games, and stairs are very much a problem in every single one. They, for some reason, Konami just cannot get it right. Uh, they've gotten it wrong in every single way. It's actually impressive. Um, I but think, I think the stairs in this I game are that purposeful. bad. I think it, I don't, wouldn't say they do it wrong. They, they've done that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, they well, I mean, they realized what they had, and then they're like, hey, let's make it a game feature, not a bug. Yep. <laughs> so, the ones in this one is that if you can, if you imagine in your mind a Cartesian plane, and you put the image of the stairs at uh, a zero, zero, what ends up happening is uh, there's a, no pixels there, essentially, and Simon, if you go at the right angle, will pass through marker zero, zero, as if you were never holding up in the first place. Yep. We call that getting stairs, boss. And it just so happens to align very well with the most efficient way of jumping. Oh, oh, wow, good bat. Holy moly, what a great bat. Nice. It, like clean, like height break and everything like yeah yeah i didn't get hit so I nice. break everything die nice <laughs> the pants and d spike jump true wow i i wow. okay i got robbed there thanks game wait what happened oh no i can't watch but what happened i, I got uh killed in the scrooge mcduck room Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, watch watch what happens there if you can catch it. Um it goes back to our earlier what? conversation of the boost. <laughs> oh no. I uh I got uh, I was right at the top of the climb uh at mm -hmm. the end of just before the bat and I limp yeah. whipped and it snapped me at full uh full extension and I bumped into the Richard. And I got what? launched down the pit. Oh no. Ooh. Yep. Okay, that's that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, it's about as specific of a death as like the game it was just like, no, you wanted to attach at the very end of a fully extended lip whip, you mean? And it's like, no, I didn't. I just wanted to grab grab the ring. Yeah, I'm down a five, so that's I'm gonna have to think about what to do here. There we go. And I'm in the secret room here on stage nine. Yeah, I, I just get my left cross there. back. Oh, okay. All right. Bat with two crosses. Fingers crossed. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. It'll be fine though. No. Ooh.
No, this is not. This is this is not going to be in the fine zone. I take a little slow there so I can get at least twenty-one hearts. Oh, beautiful! No multiplier. Why would you go to that candle? Oh nice. man. Okay. Well, yeah, mummy at the end here is, um, I mean, it's probably the worst thing that can happen to you in a speedrun in terms of the RNG in this game. Because um, he'll either give you the right side, which I got, or he can give you the left side, which is also good, but then he gives you mid side uh, spawns as well. And that's a huge time loss if you get any mid spawn. <laughs> so, um, yeah. it's kind of run dead depending on, like, your time in this game. And whether or not you have a one cycle already in the PB. Uh, so yeah, it's probably the worst thing in yep. this game, bar none, outside of like Sagra. Especially since like A has so many like tight pricks with a lot of inputs and like execution tight windows and, and scroll manipulations. So like when you get everything to work out in your favor, even like the, uh, the RNG patterns of Richard uh, are kind of... Uh, a factor in your ascent so when you do all of it right and you're like man this is going to be a gold and then mummy comes in and just says no like literally just goes nope just try again you get a little frustrated time to time with the game time to time no i, I think i think <laughs> mummy has single-handedly made me hate this game <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, it's very frustrating, frustrating when like your whole run is just dependent on whether or not he gives you the good cycle. <laughs> you can play yep. out of your mind and like, and then just get that, and it's uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just say it. Yeah, it's about like what, like eight seconds of time loss if I. Uh, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> just, just the animation yeah. alone. It's like six seconds. Oh, I got a right side. Right side bandages, okay. Nice. Cracked out That's my board. That's what I got too, so. Oh, I could have used that other heart. Alrighty, stage b b b b b b b Oh, that could have been a six. Oh man, damn. So good. That was a seven cycle slogra that couldn't ask for pretty much anything better outside of a six. So. Yep. Uh, slogra is also the next worst thing in this game, if probably not equally the worst. So. Yeah, it's up there. It's just because we have to overlap all of our crosses on that one check in order for it to count because he has invincibility frames after the matter. So. You know, that pattern is you, you don't mess it up. You, you can't. Uh, if it's off by even a hair, the overlap won't work. Yeah, Solver is extremely random. Like, he's. <laughs> everything he does is random. Like, maybe like a few things that are influenced by you. Uh, but. Like, it, it's, it's so against a speedrun that even. Like, what is it? If you go. Uh, into it with a certain amount of health that's favorable to the runner. Like, full health, he, he's more likely to dash at you. Yeah, on early phases, yeah, he can dash at you. Um, if you have full health and he's close to you, yeah, he can... He can, he can dash on phase one, which uh, is pretty bad, because you have, like, a set way of handling Slogra. Um, and if it works out fine, then you won't have too many problems. Um, but otherwise, if he starts dashing early on, it ruins the whole, it ruins the whole fight. <laughs> we love to see it. Love to see it. I got the little uh, end of mummy swag death into the pit. <laughs> I was actually tr I was practicing that before in case things went like to the the super gutter. I was like, I'm gonna show off the swag death. <laughs> yep.
praying that I do not die on B here. Okay. I'm gonna be done here. Woo! One HP Slagra. Nice. <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> nice. Thirty-three fifty-seven. Nice. Very nice. GG. Thank you. Thirty-three. GG on de-rusting on a thirty-three is very nice. <laughs> yeah, it actually, is my first run in like <laughs> I don't even know. Probably since Labervania, I guess. Oh yeah. Ooh. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh. Alright, my turn with Slogger. I'm down one health. I don't know about others, but I'm I'm afraid for my life right now. <laughs> it's because I only got the, the the one little bit of health off here. Slogger is a jerk. Oh, I almost got the death jump. Are he's being good? He's being kind. Okay, yeah, he, he he had some mercy for me, or, or pity, one of the two, you know. Augur was like, you may pass. Yep, the run continues. <laughs> that may change in the next uh, race here, but we'll see. I'll take it. Yep. Terrible drag spawns. I'll take it. I'll take that, uh, that guy on. Exchange for the ghost logger. Oh, I love bartering with this game. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Oops, I just wasted the crosses. Good job. survived. Death almost killed me. <laughs> uh, I think I am going to need the Seeker room. Alright. 36.31 or 36... Yep. 36.31 on my end. GG's. Right. GG's. I'm now walking into Drax's room. Oh, well, is the outer room. All goes well, maybe. Maybe a 38 something. Oh, yeah. So, Dracula here is. Uh... Essentially, the spawns are random. He has two phases, as you saw before, uh, with uh, myself and Christmas, uh, where he has the first phase, which is the purple fireballs, the Hydukins that split up and do damage. The second one, uh, actually, technically three phases. Second phase is um, fire elementals that chase you around the room. Uh, and the final phase is the lightning from the sky. Uh, we want to try and do as much damage with the crosses as possible by uh, having them bounce off the walls. There are certain spawns that are good, certain spawns that are bad. It is RNG for the most part, as uh, except for the fourth one. The first three are RNG. These spawns are random, but the fourth one is always going to be on top of Simon. So we can kind of use that to manipulate where he's going to be to guarantee us a little bit of damage, at least on the fourth and eighth spawn, should it get that far. Um, we try to go for, uh, I believe it's a five cycle. Uh, Drac is the fastest that can be done. Uh, six cycle is generally what you want to try to, to aim for. Ooh, is this everybody, does everybody get the sub 40? Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Nicely done. Awesome. Yeah, you're looking at a good 38-something, 30, oh, 3810. Yeah, like 3817 on my screen here. Oh, nice. 
I mean, you, you, had, a, you had some pretty big deaths, so I mean, that's not nothing to sneeze at. Mm -hmm. for sub sure. 40 is really good. The, that's the goal of, of, of anybody coming into the game. It's sub 40, sub 45 is one of the, the main sub hours. Sub 45 is your, your, your beginning times in this game, and then after that, you know, sub 40 is acceptable in, a, in any race format. Yeah, I'm very happy for that. Usually, yeah. like my my super D rust put me in the forty above forty. So yeah, this was this is good. So <laughs> they're very good. Alrighty, uh, I'm all good to uh, restart. Do you need a quick five uh, two minutes there, Cypherin, or are you? I think I'm good. If you if you both okay. are good, I'm good to we can hop yeah. into the next. Yeah, one. I can. Yeah, I'm good. I. Uh, whoa, quick, a self adjustment. Yep. Okay. Round two. Round two. Okay, let's do. Uh... We may need a reset on the. I see a clock still going on the stream. We may need a reset there. No, there's no Carnby, it's Simon! This is Carnby. It's just another form of Carnby, don't worry about it. Uh, Carnby Belmont? Yeah, Carnby Belmont. Let's go. <laughs> the, 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 the lesser known cousin. <laughs> hey, you know, there's like Leon Belmont or something, and then there's like Christopher, isn't there? Christopher Belmont? I don't know, it's like. Bunch of Belmonts that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's Judd Belmont. He built a holy water tower. <laughs> <laughs> deep cut, deep cut. Alrighty, so I'm all ready to go here. Yeah, I'm just okay. uh, give give me like two minutes here. Two Perfect. Minutes. Oh wait, maybe that's a, hmm, okay. I was, I was looking at the time on the layout. Uh, I was gonna say maybe yeah, it's, a, it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Maybe it's an overall uh, timer. <laughs> we'll say for the for the the slot here. Uh, Perfect. We'll, it's five x. Let's go. Yeah, we'll we'll keep we'll keep track of our individual times. Let everybody know. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm heading to All the title right. screen. I'm, I'm Perfect. ready. Perfect. Let me know when you're ready. Yep, I'm ready. Ready, Perfect. Ready. So, counting down from five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Okay, we're going up the stairs accidentally. Great, great, great. <laughs> good start. Good start. It's a warm up cardio. Simon's going to walk 5% yeah. faster now. Yeah, he's. it's just a strap. <laughs> Oh no, I got boosted backwards off of that Richard. Oh, terrible start. Oh. It's okay, health, is ma health <laughs> management's the same. <laughs> Reset! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quote, uh, drunken draconian, so you mean there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying there's a chance. <laughs> uh oh. It's not the way I want this to go, the screen. Uh-oh. Okay, we're still good. Oh, I got the bat boost. Heck yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm just happy I lived. <laughs> oh, I'm... Um... Oh, the one-two one clip. We got the one-two. Yep. you a uh, good plant RNG, Siphon. Thank you. I was just thinking I don't want to die by lettuce again. <laughs> a 
Uh, one thing that we didn't explain were the Medusa boosts. You may have seen us using a Limp Whip, which does uh, much less damage than a full-on Direct Whip. We use it to kind of pause enemies uh, for a brief moment, uh, and it can actually have little effects on uh, the, even the direction of the, the Medusas sometimes. Have you ever uh, Limp Whipped a Medusa and then watched it change direction in the sine wave? Because it, it, it's crazy. Yeah, I've seen it di uh, dip down really low in stage A. Like it, it like, it literally like falls down like super low. Yeah, it's, it's like a bird just crashing. <laughs> yeah. All right, the lettuce boosted me the wrong way, but not into the pit. So we made it through. Hey. Ooh, I got a, I got a Schmexy Triforce. <laughs> oh, nice. I have not paying attention to my heart counts. <laughs> Uncharacteristic with no Triforce. What happens? Oh, the sun is directly in my eyes. Excellent. <laughs> Solar powered. Makes you see the pixels better. I I, I don't know if, if that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> totally how it works. One thing that we haven't mentioned about this game uh, is the absolute bomb soundtrack, which uh, yes. is uh, is obviously something that carries forward through the Castlevania series. This one is no slouch either. Uh, some classics, and of course, as you heard before, bloody tears toward the end. But, oh my uh, god, why does the sun have to come out now? This is tragic. <laughs> Jeez, curtains, please. Nah, it's fine. I think it's going back in the sun. We're, we're good. back about the soundtrack this is probably my favorite version of bloody tears like in any oh same game I play. definitely same i like whenever we play through a level i think everyone has like one level that they have to sing along with as they for me it's level two i have to sing along with uh the swamp song what? <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Jump on that thing. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, yeah. it's just little things that we we've at least I myself uh, have accumulated as little memory songs to help remember what we're doing and when. Oh yeah, for me it's the purple hands. I sing about the purple hands. Yep. How much I hate them. Hmm, that is true. Yeah, Purple Hands at the beginning of Stage 2, also uh, RNG as to where they're- they have specific spawn locations, but which ones pop up is RNG based, and getting a bad pattern can really set you off at a bad start because you can get grabbed before you technically take control of Simon. I think there's like a one frame window where you can jump out of it, but good luck on spawn and getting that. Oh, yeah, no, that, that kind of happens a lot to me, actually, to jump out of it. It just, it depends if you're you're boosting into it. If you're boosting into it, then it actually makes it kind of easy to jump right out of the hand. Like, I do it unintentionally only... all the time. Like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I had clean mud man. They didn't mess with me. I even have nice. a mud, I have a mud man song, too, that I sing. Is it, is, is it appropriate for a marathon set? <laughs> it, it, it is, it is. I just know as soon as I sing it, I'm going to do something to screw myself up and, and die. So it's taking it, taking it a little easy today. <laughs> Ooh, almost missed fuzzy boost. I missed it. I did. I missed it. It's okay. It's like... Half a second or something. 
Oh, ring. Second. Second. Winner, winner around the world. La 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 la. I was wondering how the ring glitch works. Um, there is no jump arc when Simon is on the ring. It's uh, pendulum physics, essentially, uh, or mathematics, mechanics, however you want to word it. And uh, if you are pushing away from a center, even if that center is, I don't know, against air quotations gravity, uh, the game just puts you on a pendulum and you can actually push yourself away from the middle, which is up and use it to skip a bunch of stuff. There we go. Got eyeball boost. We're back. Nice. Can the sun not, like, be annoying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. It was cloudy all day. So true, it was cold. Yeah, I didn't want to go out today. I was like, no, it's cold. I'm not going out. <laughs> I actually smell like winter. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Ooh, almost had uh, that adjustment on the second ring glitch where you have to deal with the bubbles. Mm -hmm. The bubble lag, and thankfully I readjusted properly, but cool. That was really good, uh, everything. <laughs> Alright, stage three. Alright. Orphic Vipers! Ooh, I almost got knocked into the pit by a fireball. Ah. We're okay. <laughs> Typical cats of me, you and you. <laughs> no sun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I live in the darkness. <laughs> I come out only to feast upon pizza rolls and energy drinks. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, stage four. What do you got for me today, buddy? Rotating room yet again. Yet again. Yeah, here we are again, spinning myself right round, right round. <laughs> You're about to get me killed in this room. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I've been winning any races? It's all psychological. It has nothing to do with my skill. Now wearing down your opponent very slowly, exactly. but in a funny way. <laughs> Mom always said you got to kill him with kindness. <laughs> Um. I got enough time for a sip of coffee. Right. I'm just entering into the uh, the tunnel of love or the tunnel of lag, depending on uh, how much you enjoy. Room, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the washer drum. <laughs> uh, we do our best to not kill too much on this screen because uh, there's a bunch of sprites that are doors, the red doors, and they will lag if we kill because every single little bone is a sprite, the fire is a sprite, everything slows down the game. So, and that affects the timing and the position of the spawns. So. Everything is very scripted in that room, and if you go off even by a little bit, you have to know at what point in the timing you are. Oh my god, zip again. <laughs> I messed it up. I got I got Richter. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I could have made yeah. that. I totally, I, 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 I could have went big Pringle. 
Nah, man, not worth it. I took it super safe. I only landed after the the first crusher. Yeah, it's me not too. Worth I, it. Got out, got out early and was like, nah. Yeah. I, I was looking at it. I just didn't. Risk. It does look like you could. Yeah, I just I just want to play it so safe. Like, yep. Oh, I got false block. I didn't hard reset. I can't. Oh. <laughs> And again with the early start! <laughs> Why am I still baby? I'm juicing corn not too hard in the co not. Almost been <laughs> full Pringle. It is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you never go full Pringle. Sometimes you wanna go full Pringle. <laughs> now you get the big Pringle times. Corn out in the conut, that's right. <laughs> oh god. For those wondering what we're talking about, there is a way to kind of risk the uh the rotation of the uh of the needles to prevent us from being uh crushed or it, it optimizes time. I think it's like two seconds. Um for, for what was, the... Yeah, it'll 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 absolutely kill you <laughs> if you if you for, for do Richter? not. Uh, yeah, the the BPE. Oh, oh yeah yeah the cursor cycle yeah you can I don't know you can say more than two seconds if you if you do the full thing it's like I think four seconds. Wow. But if you yeah if you're if you're doing like the, the little like safer way yeah you're saving like up to two seconds over the old method. And the risk is death. Yay! Yep. That's what it's like to run this game. <laughs> yep. There are there are a lot of like pyramid levels, tiers of risk reward in this game though, which I find makes it like beginner runner friendly. You can still play through this game and get a a sub 40 time, one that you can play with the community and Kind of just settle in on a Sunday for the uh, the weekly races, and you could still do it without knowing anything too crazy or complicated. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of other games that are easy to learn or easy to get into, the top end of this is crazy. In some cases, we've found some zips that are interesting. Theoretical, but um, well, there is at least one new zip in this run, yes. So people yeah. will go for the tippy top, yeah. But it's uh, it's not something that's necessary for uh, for a por good portion of runners. Don't even front, you know, you would go for it. <laughs> I, if I if I came back and I was going for thirty one, yeah, I would put everything in everything that we've ever discovered. Why. You're you're gonna quickly realize that it's not worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. But I but I'm also extremely stubborn. <laughs> that uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I respect the grind. Ooh, got, uh, got, uh, frame ruled there. That's unfortunate. Whatever. We shall survive. Plaza we're doing good so far, me. right? We're, we're all doing good so far. Yeah. I'm being chased by one of these ectoplasma things, whatever. Dude, I had such a bad experience with book John last run. I don't even know if I'm going to go for it, which is, like, really weird. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, tried twice to it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Like, I just slipped off, like, every time. Oh, it didn't catch? Yeah, no, I, I caught, actually. I just I just slipped when I jumped, like, two times. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's very unusual. Thanks, game. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10, game. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, second half of Hellway. Let's save my health here. 
just in case ghosts do not cooperate because ghosts are random on the screen uh they're not fun to deal with when you have low health and usually you will have low health um optimal speaking so yeah you really squeeze out every last thing that you have in this back half of six yeah, and those ghosts are gonna be one hit. If, if like you use up all your health, like optimally, yeah, those those ghosts are one hit, and they're random, and it's not fun. Speaking of the bad RNG patterns, anyone that just watched me avoid that that ghoul pattern, uh, I think I need to go buy a Lotto six forty nine. Oh, like the frame of which I should have been hit was absurd. Oh my god, I have to watch that back. <laughs> I almost died to the ghouls. I only had one health going through there. Alright, stage seven. Oh. Again. Stage seven hates Don't. me. <laughs> Let's see if we I get knocked into the pit again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Bro, night was nice. Okay, we're good. That's the way that's supposed to look. Thanks. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Do it. No. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> nope. It's too late. <laughs> Chicken out. Chicken out. Oh my god. Yellow belly. Got it. It's me. Well, I, I believe in all of you guys. <laughs> I'm going for it. Got it. Nice. Yeah, I believe in you guys. I <laughs> will. <laughs> okay, that'll check out. I might need. Need a shame here. Yeah, I'm going for wall meter shame. Oh, got the book jump, but you're going for the wall meter shame. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll take the rotation time and go for the meat. At least I have more health coming into Grakul. Oh, little cross. Laggy cross. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Yellow bellies are us, yeah. Alright, 21 hearts into Grakul. Way too much. Yeah. Way too much? <laughs> One of the things that we do try to do is have zero hearts at the end of the level because of the countdown. This is true only for most levels, uh, not true for stage 5 and 2, if my memory serves as uh, those are transitional stages that don't actually have a boss countdown at the end. Alright, eat, be kind, be kind, eat. Be yep. kind. Be kind, rewind. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, where are we going, Chris? <laughs> right, so messed up. Oh, what the? Oh, darn, X Knight. Okay, eight's not being kind. No, I'm, I'm alive, but it's not being kind. We gotta take the spike pressure, high boost area slow. Wow, oh, it's an easy boost. Alright, 
I made Vegas. Nice. Oof. Made Vegas? Yep. Nice. I'm out to Vegas now, so. Good luck. Thank you. Alrighty, here we go. Vegas! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Got it! Nice. Yo, GG. Yeah, I think D&D's stream needs to be refreshed. It's like really far beyond. Five miles behind? Yeah. No, that's just my speedrunning. I'm that bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the excuse, though. But we made it. <laughs> hey! That's nice. Barely made Everybody it still means it. you survive. Yeah. Vegas paying out. Generally, the house wins more often than that. Oop. Holy moly, Chris, where are we going? <laughs> oh. That's a jerk. Um. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Whoa, okay, whoa, spooky. <laughs> it is Very Halloween. Spooky. It is Halloween. What would it be without having terrifying moments at every second in your speedrun? If you're not scared, you're not speedrunning. <laughs> having a moment here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're just taking a little slow here, no problem. Rocky stage nine, that's alright. No big deal, no big deal. Damn, another good bat. Wow. Nice. Nice. I didn't oh, get knocked wow. into the pit this time. At least. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Cheers, it is. Oh, had a bad Richard, so there goes that pattern. No more, no more toothless uh, sprite overload. One of the strats actually that we go for in this is a sprite overload. As we mentioned before, the game is a little bit about lag control. One of the ways that we can actually abuse that is by abusing the sprite limit and forcing things to actually not spawn on so that we get a heavy spike of lag in one section, but overall we reduce the lag over a greater portion of the screen. Oop, got boosted backwards, so no quick frame. 
I don't I mean <laughs> Did you try to go for like the quick ascent, the quick earth? No, I, 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 I didn't. It's just, <laughs> I think I'm too used to like the other strat, so like I messed up the timing for the top clip on the ring. <laughs> uh, mid boo. <laughs> I, not every uh, spawn can be a right side spawn. No, it never usually is for me. <laughs> I'm part of the Triforce, look. Look at how fancy that is. Simon is at the very tip. <laughs> we'll see here. Oh, I got a right side spawn. Everything can be a right oh, side spawn. Who knew? Sometimes just get lucky, that's all. Yeah, keep an eye on what I get. I got knocked back and still got the uh, got a one cycle. Gosh darn. Oh man. Oh yeah. N nice, uh, n nice Triforce. I saw that. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to see it. I was in the vertical climb, so I had to miss it. Uh, that's fair. That's okay. Hyrule would be proud. <laughs> Wonder when... Is there a Legend of Zelda Castlevania crossover? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, let's see. Moment of truth. Right side spawn! Yeah! Oh, but I'm gonna screw it up. Yeah! No, oh, he got away from me. I forgot the whip. I was so happy for the spawn. I didn't whip at all. <laughs> all right. We made up for it in the end. Early two cycle. And I got the swag death again. <laughs> Very nice. Swag points do matter. If there's ever a tie on the leaderboards, we go for the swagger, right? That's That's how you determine it? Oh, okay. Yeah, swag <laughs> points. Yeah, of course. I like it. I like it. Some people count milliseconds and all that official BS. No, no, no. Yeah, like, who cares about that? Dude? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just swag. Yeah, he gave me the soul dash. Oof. Calm down, Chris. You got this. <laughs> yeah. He's being very nice. He was very nice to me. <laughs> he was very nice to me. Nice too. Oh, ooh, ooh, am I messing up? A little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Zero stress, stress level zero. How much stress? None. A billion, I'm, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did- I did the- the too fast for your own crosses kill on Gaibon, unfortunately. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Uh, climbing B, I got knocked into a pit by a skeleton. Uh, no! Like, close to the, the exit, too. Well, now I'm all the oh, way man. back at the beginning. I think everybody was deathless up until that point. Yep. That's crazy. I think at that moment I was sort of thinking like, wait a minute, I'm I'm deathless. And then it was like, nope, let's fix that.
And the second you become self-aware, the game's like, nope. Oh, I got the death jump! What? Okay, I got... Okay, look at my screen for this death that I, I'm about to have. I, I got killed again. But watch what happens. Oh, do you brush up against the side of it? Oh, you did? Yeah. I, I, oh, I died at, at Drac. I, I'm dumb. I died. I was, I was watching the screen and I... <laughs> I walked off the ledge where the secret is. Oh no. No way. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. It was almost complete. There's almost a deathless run if not for the death at the end. Oh, that was almost a five. What the? Okay. That was two hits away from a five. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's- I don't think it's- is it? It's probably a 32 with the time, like, where you start on the screen. Yeah, it was 33 flat, so... Very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna watch back this these races anyway, so I'll I'll catch all the the goodies that happen. <laughs> I got a 33. I'll take that. Yeah, nice. let's go. If it wasn't for that death where I had to kill like uh, about 15 seconds of uh, of redo there, I probably would have gotten a nice 33-30. Uh, but uh, I'll I'll take a. Yeah, I think solid. I'm looking at 45. Uh, See here. 3345. Yep. Yo, let's go. Awesome. GG. Thank you very much. Yo, don't, <laughs> do don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nothing slower. Down. Down. Okay, he's coming down. That's where I'm going. Oh! Oh, I'll do it. Okay. Save strats. Mm hmm. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Pop my cross. <laughs> Catch your cross, I. One of the benefits of this boss rush at the end of Super Castlevania 4 is that the game kind of keeps you from game overing and having to do all of B's ascent again. Uh, and you basically can refresh on every single boss and keep trying over and over. So casually, that's a nice little saving grace that the game provides to you because uh, it's 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 a lot of pressure at the beginning of B to survive uh, the, the ascent if you're not familiar with the speedrunning patterns and the pressure of all the spikes. The patterns of the platforms these are all things that we've studied to the point where we can recognize a, a platform pattern and know how to handle it optimally and casually it'll just uh it'll it'll it, it can ruin you so it's nice that they provide you with a little bit of a game over checkpoint uh, for each boss in the boss rush i think that's why people consider this game to be easier casually than the rest of the cv games but they kind of underestimate that this game is still hard um casually speaking uh, as well but like yeah a lot of people say like oh this is the easy easy castlevania game but it's it's really just because the game is a little more forgiving in certain checkpoints but only towards the end really <laughs> there's some really brutal checkpoints in this game <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like speedrun wise, you could lose, I think like stage six chandeliers is a good example where you can lose a yeah. minute and a half uh, if you die. Um, the, like, if it, I would say on the, on the example of like a one credit clear would be a, a high difficulty range similar to other Castlevania games. But mm -hmm. for the sake of a casual completion, yes, you beat it, you can kind of like come back with passwords, you can come back, you know, with a full playthrough and then pretty much, you know, game over on every single level and still start at that level again so eventually you can kind of just you know bash your way through it in a sense versus having to 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 do the same thing where if you get a game over in the previous versions you you lose a lot of your if not all of your progress 
that's the recovery point I find, like, each level provides you with a way to kind of get back on your feet. With secret rooms and, and certain sub-weapons. Um, there's, uh, there's uh, uh, basically every single kind of sub-weapon on every single level. That's not every sub-weapon. There are some exceptions where it may only have, like, three out of the four. Uh, but generally, uh, there is a, um, uh, there is a way to pick up or recuperate your favorite sub-weapon and build it up again. Mm -hmm. The here coming into the last phase of, uh, Dracula. Dodging those lightnings. Oh, nice. Very nice to done. Thank you, thank you. GG, Cypher. Yeah. Very good time. Yep. Thank you very yeah, much. Definitely. Oh, for you. Yeah. And we all did better on the second race. So. <laughs> <laughs> which is really cool. Like, up to this point in which Cypher, in, I think you, you took a death in, I think, A? B. B, even. Okay, yeah, so yeah. that's really late. Like, that was deathless for everybody up until mm -hmm. that point, which is crazy good. Yeah, that's very, very good for marathon races. Yeah. So that's the Castlevania block, the double races that we've got for you here at uh, the Halloween Marathon 2024 at Retro Gaming Live TV. Thank you, everybody, for watching and dropping the GGs. Thank you, everybody, from the Super Castlevania 4 community for I see you guys in chat hanging around, popping in. Uh, for anyone that wants to join and speedrun this game, I highly suggest it. We have a very uh, active community for any form of questions. If you want to be learning, we have a Discord that is part of the Castlevania game Discord. Uh, we are very, very helpful. And if anyone wants to learn this game, it is... Uh, very very intro easy, um, but very, very difficult to master. So thank you very much. I want to ex uh, extend a thank you to Cyphern for inviting um, uh, me and Chris yeah, to, to this definitely. as well. Uh, this is uh, an amazing opportunity to showcase this game and to spend some time with uh, within a great community. So uh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Cyphern. Yeah, reverse that. No, thank you both uh, for a fantastic race and just... Uh being here with us today yeah had a great time and uh look forward to doing it again uh yeah uh join our cb4 weeklies uh every sunday uh, around what's it like 2 3 p.m yeah, uh, it's, like it's you between three EST, yeah three and five yeah. p.m est yep yep yeah yeah we're always looking for so, more more people yeah absolutely so thank you again to retro gaming live tv for having us and uh what's coming up next Ephraim? what do we got next on the uh, on the list you all get to see me uh, fumble my way through <laughs> Dracula X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all righty. So good luck with Dracula X, and we'll see you all in just a little bit. Roll high, my friends. Yeah. See y'all.